A project submission tracker is a tracker or tool which tracks all types of projects. What's the nature of the project? What's the priority? And what's the current status? In today's video, we will see how we can create a project submission tracker in Excel. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mount. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a project submission tracker which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the top, we have got month and year. And just below that, we have got project name, documents to be submitted. And just after that, we have got priority. All the priorities will be managed through drop downs. Let me delete this. So whenever we will have to select the priority, we can click on the drop down and can select the priority as per our choice. I'll select low. Just after that, I'll select medium. And after that, I'll select high. As soon as I selected high, the whole row got highlighted. And whenever I'll select urgent, again, the whole row got highlighted. If I change urgent to low, the row will not be highlighted. After that, we have got target of submission date, submission target month and year. And just after that, we can do the entry of actual submission date. When we come to right hand side, over here, we have got pending from days, time taken in completion or submission and status. And just after that, we can insert our comments. Pending from days, time taken in completion and status will be fully formulated. Suppose that I'll delete actual submission date. It's showing pending. And if I'll insert any date, currently the days are showing in pending from days. I have inserted the date. Now I'll hit enter and days got shifted to time taken in completion. And status also got changed and we can see it done over here. On the top, we have got few buttons. And from these buttons, we can check our status. Suppose that I want to check the status of done task. I'll click over here and only done tasks are in front of us. If I'll select pending, we can see all the pending tasks. I'll clear the filter from here. Let's start creating a new format now. I have inserted a new sheet. I'll take column A closer. We'll click on B2 and we'll select C also. And we'll merge this together. We'll increase size of column number C. Over here, we will type name of the month. In case you want to create the drop down, you can. I'll type November and over here, I'll type year. Enter. We'll select the whole row and we'll align all the things in center. We'll increase size of column D. We'll select month and year and we'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll click on E means E2 and we'll select till H and we'll merge this together. We'll change the color. This will be project submission tracker. Enter. We'll select all the things and we'll create borders. We'll increase size of row number two. We'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. We'll click on B4, serial number, project name, documents to be submitted. Enter. We'll adjust the column size. Priority. We'll increase the column size. Target date of submission. I have typed target date of. Now I'll press Alt and we'll hit Enter. And we'll type submission over here. Enter. We'll increase size of column number G. Target submission month and year. We'll take row number 3 closer. We'll click on serial number and we'll select few extra rows. We'll select till end and we'll create borders. Serial number 1. Enter. Project name. I'll put project 1. Enter. Documents to be submitted. There might be multiple documents which you have to submit. So I'll take as document 1. Enter. We'll drag this till document 4. This will be serial number 2. Enter. Project 2. Enter. We'll copy this. Control C or Command C and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. This will be 3. Enter. Project 3. Enter. We'll copy this. Control C or Command C and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. Let's go ahead with three projects. I'll come to priority. Spelling of priority is wrong. I'll rectify the error. Perfect. Now I'll select from top to bottom. We'll go to data. In the center, we get the option of data validation. I'll click on data validation. From here, I'll select list. Source. It will be low, comma, medium, comma, high, comma, urgent and I'll click on OK. So my drop down list got created. 
I'll select low, medium, high and urgent. Perfect. Now I'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to home. In the center, we get the option of conditional formatting. I'll click on drop down and we'll select highlight cell rules. In highlight cell rules, we get the option of equal to. Over here, I'll type low. We'll click on drop down and we select green fill with dark green text and we'll click on OK. So my priority, which is low, got highlighted in green. I'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to and over here, I'll type medium. We'll click on drop down and we'll select yellow fill with dark yellow text and we'll do OK. So my priority medium also got highlighted. Now we have to highlight high and urgent. I'll click on project one and we'll select till priority. I'll select till bottom. We'll go to conditional formatting. This time we will not go to highlight cell rule. We will go to new rules. We'll click on drop down and we'll select classic. In case you are using windows, you'll not be getting the option of classic. Instead, you'll be diverted to next step and that is use a formula to determine which cells to format. And our formula will be let me take this down plus or equal to I'll click on first priority. We'll remove dollar from center is equal to double inverted comma high double inverted comma close for high and urgent. I'll select red color and we get red color with red text by default. So I'll click on OK. So the whole row got highlighted. I'll go to conditional formatting once again. New rule from here. I'll select classic. And from the drop down, I'll select use a formula to determine which says to format. I'll take this down. Formula will be plus or equal to. We'll click on first priority. We'll remove dollar from center is equal to double inverted comma urgent. Double inverted comma close and I'll do OK. So whenever the priority will be high or urgent, the whole row will be highlighted. If I select high from here, the whole row got highlighted. I'll undo this target date of submission. I'll insert a random date over here in Excel. By default, numbers gets aligned to right and texts get aligned to left. So I'll click on top means I'll click on first date. We'll select till bottom and we'll align all the dates in center. I will leave it selected. We'll press control one format cells window will open. I'll go to date. And we'll select a desired date format and we'll do OK. So we got target submission date as 1st October 24. I'll drag this down. Target submission month and year plus or equal to. I'll click on first date. We'll hit enter. We'll align this in center. We'll drag it down. In both the places, I got the same date. Now I'll press control one. Format cells window will open. I'll go to date will come down and we'll select month and year and we'll do OK. Now I can see October 24 over here. If I change the date and we'll do it November, we can see November 24. I'll undo this. We'll go to view. In the center, we get the option of grid lines. Currently, it's checked. I'll uncheck this and all the grid lines got removed will come to right hand side. We'll increase the column size. This will be actual submission date. We'll adjust the column size. This will be pending from. We'll press alt and we'll hit enter days. Enter. We'll adjust the column size time taken in completion. We'll adjust the column size status comments. Enter. We will increase the size of column. We'll select all the headings and we'll select till bottom. We'll go to home and we'll create borders. We'll click on top of pending from days and we'll select till end. We'll merge this together and we'll put some color. We'll come to left hand side. Perfect. So all the things are done over here. Now we will put our formulas. I'll put couple of days over here. I'll copy one date, control C or command C and we'll paste over here. Control V or command V. We'll paste over here also. Pending from days, the formula will be plus or equal to today bracket open bracket close minus target date of submission. Enter. 
will align this in center. We got date format over here. We'll select from top to bottom. We'll press Ctrl 1. We'll go to general and we'll click on OK. Now we got 34 days. What will happen if I'll delete target submission date from here? We got some random figure. So to avoid this random figure, I'll use criteria of if. We'll go to formula bar. If bracket open target date of submission is equal to blank. For blank, I'll put double inverted comma twice. Comma. If this will be blank, in return we want blank. So I'll put double inverted comma twice once again. Comma. We'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So this got blank. I'll put some date in target date and we got 33 days. I'll put one more criteria of if over here. We'll go to formula bar. If bracket open actual submission date is not equal to blank. For not equal to I'll put smaller than greater than not equal to blank. So for blank I'll put double inverted comma twice comma. If this will not be equal to blank. In return, I want blank. So I'll put double inverted comma twice once again, comma. We'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So in result, what we got? When we will put actual submission date, pending from days will not appear. If I delete this, I can see pending from days. I'll undo this, control Z or command Z. We'll drag this down. Perfect. So in the cells where we don't have submission date, we can see pending from days. Now I'll go to time taken in completion and the formula will be plus or equal to actual submission date minus target submission date and I'll hit enter. So we got two days. I'll align this in center. What will happen if I'll delete actual submission date in time taken in completion? We can see some random figure. I'll undo this. We'll click in time taken in completion. We'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if if bracket open actual submission date is equal to zero. If this will be zero in return, we want blank. So I'll put double inverted comma twice for blank comma. We'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now if I'll delete actual submission date, nothing is visible. I'll undo this and we'll drag this down. Perfect status. I'll increase column size a little bit. We'll come to left. We'll click on serial number. We'll press shift control right arrow key and we'll change the cell color. We'll change the font color also. We'll come to right hand side. Now we will insert the formula in status and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open pending from days is equal to blank for blank. I'll put double inverted comma twice. If pending from days will be blank in return, I want done. So I'll put comma double inverted comma done double inverted comma close comma if time taken in completion is equal to blank i'll put double inverted comma twice for blank comma if this will be blank in return i want pending so i'll put double inverted comma pending double inverted comma close bracket close and i'll hit enter we got status as done what will happen if i'll delete target date of submission Still, we can see done over here. I'll undo this. We'll go to formula bar and we'll put one more criteria of if if bracket open target submission date is equal to blank. If this will be blank in return, we want blank. So I'll put double inverted comma twice once again, comma. We'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now I'll drag this down. Perfect. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to and over here I'll type done. We'll click on drop down customized format fill from here. I'll select green color and we'll change the font color as white and we'll do OK. OK. So the word or the term done got highlighted in green. We'll go to conditional formatting once again. Highlight cell rule equal to and this time I'll type pending. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill. From here I'll select red color and font color will be white. And we'll do OK. OK. So the color of done and pending got changed. Perfect. We'll come to left. Now one last step is pending. 
So I'll click anywhere inside my format. We'll press Ctrl A or Command A and the whole data will be selected. Now I'll press Ctrl T. A small box will pop up where we can see create table. Our range got selected and here we can see my table has headers. Currently it's checked. So we will leave it checked and we'll click on OK. Our format got converted in a table. We will adjust the font size. Perfect. Whenever we create a table, on top we can see table tab. I'll go to table tab. And over here we can see the option of filter button. Currently it's checked. I'll uncheck this. And the filter buttons got vanished. I'll come to right hand side. We'll click over here and we'll create borders. Now I'll click in my format. We'll go to insert. In the right hand side, we get the option of slicer. I'll click over here. A small window popped up, insert slicers. And we can see all the headers over here. I'll come down and we'll select status and we'll do OK. Over here, we can see done and pending. I'll click on slicer and slicer tab got opened. In the right hand side, we can see column. I'll do this three. We'll resize this and we'll position this on top. We'll increase size of row number two. We'll resize this little bit more. Perfect. We'll click on slicer. We'll go to slicer tab and we'll change the color. If I'll delete some dates from here, over here it's showing Jan 00. I'll click on first month and year. We'll go to formula bar. If bracket open target submission date is equal to blank for blank. I'll put double inverted comma twice. Comma, if this will be blank, in return I want blank, so I'll put double inverted comma twice once again. Comma, we'll come to the end, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So when I deleted few target days from here, in slicer we can see blank. So whenever you have to check the status, click on done and we can see all the done tasks. And when I'll click on pending, we can see all the pending tasks. Once you have checked the details, just close the filter from here and your data will be back. So this format is ready now. I'll provide link of this file in description box. In case you want to download, you can. But the download option is only for channel members. In case you want to download the file, you can join the channel membership. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.